This is Gunyala, a Caribbean okay. archipelago off Panama's north coast. For the indigenous Kuna who live here, this place is both home and their identity. The sea and coral atolls are part of who they are. But the same sea has now become their enemy, washing their world away, one house at a time. The Kuna first arrived here from mainland Colombia about a century and a half ago. They adapted quickly, becoming master fishermen, raising families. But adapting to today's challenge is proving impossible. Climate change is causing the sea to slowly but surely rise and storms to worsen. Islander Estasio Valdez recalls a big storm from a couple years back and the damage it caused. This is where his kitchen once stood. Estaba con un con un español, un amigo. Nos estamos platicando y tomando un poco de vino. Empezó a llover, llover, empezó a llover, llover. Me fui a la casa del compañero Blas. Entonces al, al llegar a la casa de Blas, cuando vine para acá, toda esa parte que es lo que está ahí, todo se fue. Estaba uno, uno, unos vientos fuertes, fuertes, olas enormes. Hace meses para para reír ahí, todo fue devastado. Valdez didn't build strong enough defenses because he'd never seen such a storm before. Or rain like this during what's usually the dry season. 69-year-old village elder Pablo Apreciado says the change is undeniable. Stronger winds, erratic weather, rising sea levels. The combination has given the ocean the upper hand. On top of that, the Kuna have their own homegrown problem. As their habitat shrinks, their population grows. La comunidad pequeñas están haciendo relleno, robando el espacio del mar. ¿Por qué? Porque están aumentando el asentamiento de la población. Lo que hace el cuna es rellenar, porque también afecta a los corales. Cuando lo sacan los corales y eso afecta al ecosistema marino y son las barreras naturales frente frente a cualquier vendaval que viene. La población se ha aumentado. Entonces no hay un espacio, ¿no? Donde los niños jugar, donde caminar, y entonces la, los dirigentes pensaron que tenemos que buscar un espacio, o sea, donde la, la, se puede mejorar la vida del, de, un, de la comunidad de Cartizuy. No space for people or animals. The few pigs here now live in pens suspended over the water itself. The Kuna know that ripping out nearby coral for backfill destroys their fish grounds, and that it removes a natural barrier against storm-driven waves. But say, they have no choice. The Kuna aren't just creating space for themselves. Tourists now flood the archipelago. For many locals, they become the main source of income, replacing fishing. But with tourists has come something else garbage, mostly cans and plastic water bottles. Anteriormente, toda la basura era orgánica. Se desechaba y, bueno, y no, no pasaba nada. Pero últimamente, la, la tecnología, la civilización nos ha traído basura de plástico. Todo es plástico, botella, cartucho, todo, todo los envases son de plástico. Y entonces el problema, el pueblo cuna se enfrenta, ¿qué van a hacer con esa basura? Ya. Yeah. There are hardly any garbage boats making rounds here, but Kuna leaders are trying to teach their kids the value of a concept well known on the mainland, recycling. Children collect cans and sell them to the lone recycler who motors out once a week. Their families get to keep the money. Elders hope to instill a good habit, a habit that will serve them in the not too distant future. The Kuna now have an extraordinary decision to make to abandon the islands, return to solid ground, safe from storms and floods, 
But how do you move a nation of some 60,000 people? To start, the Kuna say, they need help from their government, from the world. Países desarrollados son, son, tienen grandes industrias y eso humo que sube rompe el ozono y entonces ya viene mucho calor. Entonces ellos, eh, como ellos, han, ellos son culpables, ellos tienen que pagar a los, que, a los países subdesarrollados como, como Panamá. Nosotros no tenemos plata para cruzar. The Kunas say they're the victims of climate change and the developed world should shoulder the burden of building them a town from scratch. But how and where? Y entonces de nuevo hay que redefinir. Mm -hmm. o sea, the government of Panama has taken a stab at one design. The Kuna shot it down. Cada comunidad tiene su olmaquenega, cada de cada casa del Congreso, ¿no? Y entonces el casa del Congreso es el corazón del pueblo. ¿Y no, dónde lo han puesto aquí? Sí, y entonces lo han puesto lejos de, de, las, de las casas que se va a construir. Tiene que construir en el centro. Parece ser que no consultaron a ustedes. Sí, no, no, eso fue un diseño en la oficina. No, 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 una, una, una consulta. Ahora, ahora queremos consultar de nuevo, rediseñar con un arquitecto cuna, ¿no? One thing in the Kuna's favor, they don't need money for the land. It's theirs. They won it in a revolution against the Panamanian state nearly a century ago. They are stewards of millions of acres of coastal jungle, Central America's longest contiguous forest. They even have their own heavily guarded border checkpoints. Nombre, nacionalidad, ¿cuántos son? Which you have to pass through to reach Panama's capital, Panama City. Here, the Kuna recently celebrated the 90th anniversary of their revolution. Dentro de nuestra historia, memoria histórica, las tradiciones de nuestro pueblo recoge de, de la lucha de nuestros héroes para nosotros, para no morir. Nosotros tenemos que tener una casa, una casa para vivir, para crecer, para desarrollar. Para nosotros el territorio es una casa común. But if that's so, the Kunas is a house divided, and the need to move has dredged that up. In the hills above the bay facing the Kuna Islands, a new town has been slowly taking shape, even as island elders protest against the final planning. Cuna Herculano Lombardo shows a half-built school, the shell of a health clinic. La inversión va a alcanzar 10 millones de dólares. Hospital aparte, hospital son de 11 millones de dólares la misa capsi. Entonces el, el, el gobierno tiene que buscar completar porque es un proyecto grande. Tiene que completar y terminar de hacerlo. This is a far cry from their traditional huts on the water. But there are bigger challenges than getting used to concrete building blocks. Durante la Revolución Tule, de 1925, la comunidad entera se mudó a, a, otra, a dos horas de camino hacia adentro del monte. Y yo creo que no se dieron las condiciones para quedar viviendo ahí, porque empezaron a morir gente. Eh, picada de mosquito, malaria. malaria, y tuvieron que regresar. This move is meant to be definitive, with promises of full-time doctors and teachers. But construction has stalled as successive governments have failed to provide the money. Unless cash is found, the forest will slowly reclaim the settlement. And the Kuna will find themselves either stuck on their sinking atolls or toughing it out on their own in the jungle.